what's up everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl liz back with another reaction video and don't be mad i know that i keep coming and then i go for a while but things are crazy right now and i promise you in june things will get better because we're moving to a new location so you know with any move it's just straight mayhem with trying to get stuff organized so anyway i'm not gonna waste you guys time i already gotten messages from you guys asking where's the content liz where's the content anyway without further ado we've got nukes top five and this one is top five scary ghost videos that'll make you cry for your mama <laughs> now let's get into it son of a monkey's rear <laughs> I'm gonna just push play on this one. I, I hate when stuff isn't queued up the way I like it. Anyway, let's get into it now. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Don't wake the baby. Italian YouTubers Paolo, Debbie, and Simona from the YouTube channel PIT Paranormal Investigation Team were contacted by one of their viewers about a spooky local legend in a dark forest. The legend says that there's a certain tree in the woods and underneath it sits an old abandoned stroller. Then above the stroller, there's a bell attached to one of the tree's branches. Locals believe that in the stroller rests the spirit of a baby who tragically passed away under mysterious circumstances many years ago. Furthermore, it's believed that if anyone nearby makes too much noise, the spirit of the baby wakes up and the bell in the tree starts to ring. But even more ominous, it is said that when the bell rings, an evil entity comes to protect the spirit of the infant, and this entity will attack whoever disturbed the child. The PIT Paranormal Investigation Team travel to the mysterious forest and wait until nightfall. They search through the woods and eventually find the tree and the stroller. They put an EMF detector inside and just wait. Non ma neanche a me fa zero. Mamma mia. Raga, brilla. Raga, sta brillando. Sta brillando. Sta brillando. Sta brillando. Oh, la campana, la campana. Ma non si sta muovendo più di tanto, eh. Io ero lì, eh? Io ero lì. Io ero lì, quindi adesso? Non si sta muovendo. Eh, ma poco. Ma rumore l'ha fatto, eh? Ti prego, dimmi che sta dormendo. Dimmi che so. Non lo so, non lo so, non lo so. Ha suonato, ha suonato, ha suonato. Ha suonato. Ha suonato dopo, dopo che ha brillato l'M1. Quindi adesso? E quindi che ne so adesso? Paolo. Non mi piace. No. Quindi adesso in teoria, se è giusta la leggenda, sta arrivando qualcosa. Sì, esatto. The bell rings, which according to the legend means that the baby has been disturbed and that the evil entity is coming for them. Both Debbie and Simone are more than a little freaked out and already feel surrounded by something that is lurking in the woods. But Paolo wants to see more. He grabs the stroller and starts to threaten the entity, yelling aloud that he will take the baby away. What happens next is downright chilling. Poi non so se suggestione, raga. Cosa? Io mi sento tirare la carrozzina. Che senso ti senti tirare la carrozzina? Come se dall'altra parte ci fosse qualcun altro che la sta... Me la, come se me la stesse togliendo dalle mani me la sta spingendo mollala io dalla, dalla, dalla termica non vedo assolutamente niente per dirtelo mollala io dalla termica non vedo niente di strano dai. Si muove, si muove, si muove! Paolo! Paolo, te l'ho detto! Paolo! 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 L'hai provocata! Ha funzionato! Ok, 
Paolo explains that he feels like someone is trying to push the stroller away from him. When he lets go, the stroller eerily just moves on its own. The team no longer believes that they're alone in the woods and they hear the unexplained sound of running footsteps all around them. Ho visto passare qualcosa, raga l'ho filmato, sono quasi sicuro. Ho stretto la torcia. Raga è passata una persona laggiù. È passato qualcosa laggiù, non un animale. The creepy figure of what appears to be a woman can be seen quickly running through the dark woods. Could this be the evil entity that is said to come when the bell rings? Is it possible that this female spirit could be protecting the long abandoned spirit of the child in the stroller? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. PIT Paranormal Investigation Team is now releasing their investigations in both English and Italian. I don't know if this is real, but if you're loud, the baby's gonna wake up. So you can watch this full three-part series in English or Italian over on their YouTube channel. The Nightly Visitor. Chris Coltman from the Netherlands recently reached out to me through email, explaining that his family has been experiencing some very strange activity in their house. Chris says that his five-year-old son has been having terrible trouble falling asleep ever since the little boy's grandmother passed away. The five-year-old would wake up in the middle of the night, making the typical claim of any frightened child that there was, quote, something scary in his room. The boy repeated this multiple nights until finally Chris decided to buy a motion detection camera to prove to the child once and for all that there was simply nothing there. But instead, the camera captures something downright creepy. Because of the potato quality of the camera, it's hard to tell exactly what is going on here. All that we can make out is a strange dark shape that seems to move and disappear along the side of the boy's bed. Now, after reviewing the footage and seeing this bizarre incident, Chris decides to buy a new, higher quality camera. And sure enough, the camera captures... something. Another unexplained dark shape seems to move right next to the boy as he sleeps. It almost looks like the translucent shape touches the boy's hand, and the child even seems to react to the touch in his sleep. Another night, and Chris is laying in bed with his son to comfort him, waiting until the boy falls asleep so that he can sneak out of the room. But then, this happens. Books sitting on top of a shelf suddenly get tipped over and fall hard onto the floor. Chris and his son wake up and the boy's mother quickly hurries into the room to see if the two are okay. Both Chris and his wife have no idea what just happened. So are Chris and his family haunted by an invisible entity that only his son can see? And if not, then just what is this? Let me know what you think. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Aldo sees something.
Indian YouTuber Robbie from the YouTube channel Biryani Man and his friends set out to explore an abandoned house in Madras, India. The four friends don't know much about the house other than that the building was abandoned because the property is said to be extremely haunted. Once inside, they find something very disturbing. Who did it? Team member Vicky is a bit upset by an old rope hanging from the ceiling inside one of the rooms. But the other guys don't really seem to think much of it. But then, YouTuber Robbie sees something shocking right behind him. Hello, open this door. In your door, the door, the door open. Mana parom. Hello, all see that? Open out that. Hello, madam, madam. So I'm open it. Take time. Let's number Vicky. Take a pom. Vicky, Vicky. Sorry. Come here. Hey. Someone or something seems to walk from left to right, right behind the unsuspecting group. When they check out the area, there's just no one there. The four friends decide to take a quick break outside the house to gather their thoughts. And that's when things get truly bizarre. Again, a dark figure can be seen, this time from one of the upstairs windows. The guys go back inside to check it out, and it did not go well. Now to be clear, I am in no way saying that what the guys have captured is anything paranormal. It could simply be a squatter or a homeless person in the building. I just don't know. But what I do know is that team member Aldo seems genuinely terrified of what he's seen. Inside the building, he claims he saw a horrifying figure, and he even starts to cry out of fright. Just as Aldo is explaining what he's witnessed, the team is shaken up by a loud bang, and they all run to their scooters and just get out of there. Shortly after, they stop to check on Aldo. Poor Aldo is still in tears, and they decide to just end the video and go home. So what do you think Aldo saw that terrified him this much? Is it all real? Is it all just a hoax? But if it is a hoax, Aldo either wasn't in on it or he's one of the best actors ever. Because those are real tears. Anyway, as always, you decide. The curse. From the time it was built in the 1960s, the Okago Onsen Inn in Tajimi City, Japan was met with terrible misfortune. Some believe that the land the inn was built on was cursed from the beginning by a dark spirit. 
Local legend claims that a woman passed away under horrible circumstances on the property in the mid-1600s, and that she still haunts the property grounds. So cut to the 1970s, and there is a severe food poisoning incident at the Okago Onsen Inn that absolutely ruins the reputation of the popular hotel. Even worse, soon after this, not one but two fires destroy large parts of the building and end several lives. The Okago Onsen Inn was closed down for good. Locals say that the devastating events left the inn's owner in complete financial ruin. In hopelessness and despair, he ended his own life by jumping from the inn's roof. Today, the inn has been abandoned for 40 years and the building is buried in overgrown weeds and vegetation. Rumors spread that the location is cursed and that anyone who enters the inn will suffer a horrible fate. Those few who have dared to enter the inn claim that they have seen and heard the spirit of the woman who curses the hotel. They also say that they have seen the apparition of what is believed to be the inn's former owner who jumped from the roof. So Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film have heard the terrifying ghost stories and are ready to investigate the allegedly haunted inn. Together with their anonymous cameraman who goes by the name T, they start their investigation of the creepy building. Tomo and Hiro decide to take photos of each other inside the second floor's restroom, which is said to be one of the most active paranormal spots in the entire building. Things quickly take a very eerie turn. あれ、こっち見てる見てる。あれ、見てる。え、こう、え、こっち見てない普通に見てる、見てる、見てる。いやいや、見てるよ。見てるよ。見てる、見てる、見てる。え、でさ、これって目がさ、白でしょ。うん
cameraman T is frightened as he claims he heard the voice of a strange woman whispering in his ear and dropped his camera in fear. Later, the three team members watch the footage back that he recorded. They are shocked by what they find. <laughs> Did you see it? Right after the camera falls, an upside down face can be seen staring right back at the camera. Could it be that this is the face of the owner who took his own life on that very same rooftop? Or is it the woman's voice who cameraman T heard right before he dropped his camera? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. You can watch this full terrifying investigation over on the YouTube channel Omega Toki Film. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Nina Enton shared a creepy video of her nephew, Emmy, on her TikTok page. In the video, the boy discovers the hidden nanny cam that's carefully placed in his bedroom to keep a safe eye on him. But what happens next is downright chilling. terrifying face of what appears to be an elderly woman can be seen staring at the camera. Nina claims her nephew was alone in his room at the time of this recording. Now, fake or not, when I first saw this video, it freaked me out. So either way, the video is definitely very creepy, but as for whether it's real or fake, as always, you decide. In another video, TikTok user 17275C claims that he bought a haunted ring and that ever since he brought it home, strange things have started happening around his house. I heard some noise down here, not the washing machine, but some like weird f***ing thumping and this f***ing thing was rocking back and forth when I came down here. Doors started shaking. Unexplained voices can be heard at night, and a rocking chair suddenly started rocking back and forth all on its own. TikTok user 172.75c shares his experiences on a regular basis on his TikTok page. One night, he films as he starts to feel sick from the paranormal activity around his house. Later, TikTok viewers are shocked when they see something in the video that he did not see. Something truly bizarre. Going to go in uh, my car for tonight. I'm not feeling good. I'm actually starting to get. Did you see it? TikTok user 172.75c is completely unaware that the dark silhouette of someone or something can be seen standing right behind him in a room. He explains in another video that he had no idea what was with him in his house, and that since this incident, he has been staying with a friend too scared to return to his home. So is it real, or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here, Twitter here. All right, guys. That was Duke's top five. Now, let me tell you, I'm not sure which one was scary for you, but the two, well, now that there's three, three that stood out to me was number one, the um, the baby carriage and the bell. Something about ghost children and protective evil spirit. It, creepy, just all out creepy. And then when the when the stroller moved a little bit, like I said, I don't know if that was real or what, but 
that creeped me out. And then the other one with, was it the house? I think it was the house. No, the other one was for sure with the, um, the guys in Japan. That creeped me out as well. Like the face staring back at the camera. I've seen photos like that done. I don't know how they do it, but that was weird because all the other pictures just seemed normal. But just that one was like, that was creepy because he was totally staring at the camera guy and his reflection should not have been staring that way too but anyway this last one was scary because to me i feel like this is like um like a classic haunting or um it may be demonic i'm not sure i'm not sure but it seems like it's a negative thing for him because he's not feeling well and there's a lot of negative things happening in his house this just makes me nervous. We've been living in the same place for a very long time. So moving to a new place, well, it's not even a new house. It's actually an old house. I'm gonna have to give you guys a history of that house. But um, when we went to go see it, I personally didn't feel anything weird. So hopefully we're all good. I'm just nervous about moving to new locations because you never know like what energy people have left behind or what they were into or what they've been dealing with. So for sure, we're gonna have to do a cleanse on that house before we sleep in it so anyway thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm definitely going to try to do more videos we're moving really soon you guys so it'll be a new location and i will definitely be able to do more videos so thank you guys so much for your patience i love you guys <laughs> so um please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i will catch you guys at the next one